Hi everybody, hello, hello, welcome. Today I'm going to work on our uh, beautiful, beautiful file, f I don't know, what's it called? Tim Holtz Botanical. Tim Holtz Botanical file folder. file folder. There you go. Thank you, Mr. F. So this is the one that I'm doing ahead of time. And then this is the one that I'm doing with you. Let's look at that. How gorgeous is that? Um, and you will see that in the one that I'm doing ahead of time, I have a big pocket in the back and it's got a little uh, notebook in it. So um, that's what I intend to do today. So as that one catches up with this one. So let's have a look and see about putting this pocket together. Right, well, what I wanted was a frame and this is one of the Tim Holtz frames. Um, the, maybe I should move that purple mat. That's just a bit distracting for my eyes, to be honest. So let's get rid of that. That's better. Um, I hope you can see more clearly. I know you can see all the reflection of the camera and stuff, but what can I do? What can I do? So the um, frames are these ones. They are called layer frames. Collage. I don't know if there's any other type apart from the collage. I haven't looked actually, but that's what I'm using anyway. Um, and that's this one here. So I think it's the largest one in the pack. But I wanted to kind of offset it. So I've used some of the paper from, and I will be using a lot of this paper throughout, the backdrops number five. The whole thing will be kind of based on the backdrops number five because I want to do, se I want to separate the colours out. Uh, you'll see as we start putting the pages in. So I want to, I've inked around both and I want to just offset that, kind of like that. I no idea why, I just like it. And I'm going to put one of my portrait dolls, this one in this instance, underneath. And then when it comes to here, I'm going to have her head and her hair, etc. sticking out the side. So you can see there what, what I've done. She's underneath, apart from her head, which is sticking over. And then I'm going to use one of my thousands that I seem to have accumulated of these collage cards. I never use them because I think they're so good as they are, but I've accumulated masses of them. Look, I've got loads. So I've decided to just use them up when I need a piece of card that this sort of fits the bill. So I want that to go in there behind there like, like that. And I like the look of that pleasing to my eye. Okay, so first thing I want to do to the uh, little girl is I want to emboss some of her sort of hair and stuff. I've got a sheet somewhere I was using for that purpose. I think it was this one. Yeah, I've printed out the collage pages twice, so I'm just using the back of this. And I'm going to use uh, Tim's embossing glaze in tattered rose. It doesn't look very tattered rosy, does it? But it kind of, you know, kind of goes a bit more pink. And um, I've got all sorts of these. This happens to be embossed, but loads of companies do these pens with embossing stuff in. This is a Sukuniko one, so presuming it's good. Um, and first off, I think I just want to do little bits in her necklace. Just tiny little bits. We can always come back if we need more. I just like the idea of it. So let's put some embossing glaze on there. See what we got. Ooh. Looks like it's going to be nice. So I can leave that now and let's just put that away instead of trying to work over it. That would just be, you know, that would lead to disaster. 
So the other bit that I want to, just make sure you haven't got any bits anywhere, because as soon as you heat set them, well, they are just that heat set. So still using the pen, I want to do something with a ribbon that she's got tying her hair. I don't want to just do the whole thing. I don't think that would look very nice. So I'm just going to pick out bits of it. And just do them. And same on the other side. Sorry, can't talk and concentrate. <laughs> Let's try that and see. We can always rub it off if it's no good before we heat set it. I think that's probably all right. Maybe could do with just touch more in there. Looks a bit odd. Fortunately none of it came off, just stuck my... Let's have a look. Yeah, like that. I think that's all right. So let's put that away and heat set that. Lovely. And hopefully it will look nice. She's such a pretty little girl, this one. I've used her loads of times. She's one of my favourites to use. Oh, 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 there we go. Right, let's just get a bit of temperature in that heat gun. There we go, it's starting to go, I think. Yeah. Yeah, because that's hot, hot to hold. Just check that they're all gone. I'm not so sure about this bottom part of her necklace. Yeah, that's it. Okay, so we've gone. We're gone. We've cooked it up. There we go. Right, so let's just make sure that she looks okay before we crack on. So I want her under there and over there. You are limited because, of course, she's chopped off, so that would be like that. Yeah, I think she looks nice. I think so. And then that's going behind. But what can I stick on first? I can stick her onto the pink piece. So let's just bring her down just a touch to there. So yeah, okay, so with her still in situ, I'm going to stick her onto the pink piece. So just along there and up there. I think that's, I think that's all right. Let's just pop this over the top just to double check. Yeah, that looks fine. Looks good to me. Excellent. So the next thing we can do is stick her down to, to this and stick this on top of the pink. So let's, well, let's start with her. And then we'll get a right. Oh, it's a bit tight in there, actually. Come on, up you go, my love. 
need to get that exactly where I want it, which is there. Right, okay, let's stick this top down. So I'm going to put the glue on the top layer. Like that. And carry on all the way around till you've got that stuck down. Mr. F's having another day of clearing out. I mean, we we made a good start to it, you know, last week or the week before, whenever it was. But it was just that. It was just a start. And there's still loads that need clearing out. Stuff we've just accumulated. Just stuff, generally. Um, yeah, that's looking good. Loads of, oh, I don't know, wrapping paper and just... Yeah, as I say, just stuff. Oh, that'll come in useful. That'll come in useful. Well, it never does. And to tell you the truth, even if it would have come in useful, I don't even know where it is. So I, I, I didn't even know I had half this stuff, so I can't go and get it because I didn't know it was there. So it's going. It's going to be donated to the local kiddies at school. So they can use it for their art. There we are. So I've just chopped off the bit of her that was sticking out. Doesn't she look gorgeous? She really does. So now I need to stick this behind. So I've got a question. Do I need to stick it in line with this one or straight? In line with that one, I think. Like that. Right. So let's stick this down. There'll be some bits that need cutting off. That's okay. We can cut them off. Just get them stuck on for now. Linda asked a very good question actually on the first video that I put up. Uh, why didn't I use Timmy fabric or any fabric, whatever you're using, over the spine? And it's a really good question and pertinent to today's Mr. Uh, Mr. F clean out. I couldn't get to, I could not reach the Timmy fabric. In the clear out that we had a couple of weeks ago, it was moved and subsequently been covered up with so much stuff just ridiculous so I, I couldn't but you certainly can use Timmy fabric to go over the spine of the folder and I think it would look gorgeous and of course it allows flexibility so that's that bit off there and then I just need to cut this bit off here there's probably a more logical way of doing this but I don't know what it is. Oops. There's just a little bit up here that needs to come off. Let's have a look then. Yeah, I think that's fine. I like that. It's got glue on the back of it. Come on, Jiminy Cricket. Right, so this has got, uh, the the Tim Holtz one has been stitched around and it's got ends, thread ends on it, which are very much light, but they're all the same length. So I'm just going to cut two a little bit shorter and leave two quite long. So just cut them there and leave the other two a little bit longer like that so they're just not all uniform so there we are we've got that excellent I just want to put a stamp along here because it's just a little bit naked 
So I've selected a stamp. I'm going to do it, I think, in black. There's quite a lot of black stamping on there already, so I think that'll fit in nicely. It says Grand Magazine. Don't even know. Don't even know what that means. So I'm just going to pop that along there. Oh, I just squished that when I put it down. So, oh, doesn't look too bad actually. Um, it is, it is blurred, but it, the whole thing's a kind of blurry font anyway. So we're all right. Got away with that. Um, any other stamps that I want or need? I don't really want to stamp on the pink. I'm going to leave it just pink. Um, I think that's about it. And also on this pocket, I'm going to put some flowers up here. Because of course I am. It's my project. Of course I am. Let's just waft over that ink with a bit of heat because it's quite shiny, that um, frame. I mean, it's not uh, Versafine Claire, so once it's dry, it's dry for good and ever, but it does take a little minute to dry and it's very prone to smudging in that time. Should be okay. Um, right, so I've looked at these flowers out of various... Timmy ephemera packs. Uh, I laid this one out, but I do think that it's a bit on the, yeah, it's a bit on the big side. Um, these, which I thought might look nice, with a, a pink, a pink leaning. I quite like it. It covers up part of her dress, which I do like. Yeah, um, I've got these ones, the smaller variety of that first one we looked at. That's nice. That looks nice. And I've got one more. This one, which is... surprised I've still got this, actually, because I use them very often. I could bring that to there. Hmm. That's possibly my favourite. Although, as I say, I like those... <gasps> I like these ones, too. That one, or that one. Now that's a puzzle. I really can't answer it yet. I'm going to put it on the pocket and then I'm going to decide. I'm going to chicken out at the moment. Right, so the pocket itself, um, I'm going to use a piece of pink patterned paper from this uh, Backdrops number five. So let's get that out and see. You can see clearly on the back here that there are colour families in this pack. There's pink, red, l'orange, yellow, green, kind of duck egg blue, uh, darker blue and purple. So what I'm thinking is each page that we put in our folder, I'm going to base around one of these colours. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. Yeah eight pages. So if you're doing talking back and front, it would be four of those file folders that I got. So I don't know, we'll see how it goes, but I'm looking to make 10. So we'll see. I think there's quite a lot of green ephemera around and there's also quite a lot of red. So I might double up those pages. We'll see. We'll see. We're not there yet. So let's Oh, pink on top. Excellent. What's on the back of you? Ah, that's perfect, I think. That's what I want to make the pocket out of, I believe. Let's just try it where it's going and see what it looks like. I think that'll be all right. I like that. What's on the back? Plain pink. Well, that's what I did the other frame out of, so I don't think it'll stand out enough. Yeah, okay. So I, I think that's pretty near perfect. Let's have a look what our other choices are with the pink. Um, 
That was a different pattern. Let's have a bit of a flip through, see what we've got. Oh, this is such a gorgeous set of of papers. I would not be surprised if this was his best. Oh, I like that. No, you're going for pink, girl. Uh, his best set of paper selling papers ever. It it really is appeals to everybody. I would have thought whether you're doing grunge or you're not doing grunge, it's just very appealing papers. Having said that, I think they do lend themselves. They are a bit grungy, maybe. But um, they're right up my street. Yeah, there's that one as well. Right. So I've got both my pink potentials out. So let's just place this on and see what we think. Well, I think that looks just gorgeous. What does it look like in the file? I think it's very, very pretty. I think I possibly prefer that to this one. Hard to know, but yeah, I'm going to go with this one. So let's pop that one back where it should be. Now then, to make the pocket... I want it to be six inches deep. Um, yeah, is that going to work? I think so. Six inches comes to where? Let's have it. No, probably need it to be more than more than that. How about seven? Yeah, I think seven might be good. Um, what does the pocket measure that we put in here? That's a good question. It measures just a touch over six by five. Yeah, okay. Touch over six, but I don't know if this arrangement we've got now will fit into that. Yeah, of course it will. Don't be daft, it will. Right, so I'm, I'm going to cut this off at six and a half anyway. I'm going to have to mark it because my uh, chopper only goes up to six. So, yeah, six and a half. Chop that off. There we go. Keep all your remnants, I advise, in one place. So you know you've got all your, your backdrops, five remnants together. Right, so that's that. Now I need to score in. Of course it's going to have a gusset. Why would it not have a gusset? Every pocket I make has a gusset. Um, so I'm going to score at half. That's my gusset. And then I'm going to score at an eighth beyond that. So five eighths. So a half and then another eighth. And that'll give us just a bit of thickness to put the notebook into. So let's just check. I want the pocket. What did I say to measure five? Honestly, remember things. Yeah, I'm useless at that. Five, right. So I've got that there at five eight. So I want to count on five inches beyond that. One, two, three, four, five. Have I got enough paper? That's the question. Maybe I haven't. It's hard to see this. I need to put some black paint in there so I can actually see the marks. Um, that's five eight. So one, two. Three, four, yikes. Well, I'm just, I'm going to turn it over. This is my, it's six inches wide, so it'll end up being whatever it is. And I'm going to score this edge at half an inch and then another eighth after that. So on both the long sides, 
I've scored half an inch and then an eighth. And then we'll see what size our pocket is from the inside score lines. It's about four and three quarters. That'll do. I think we'll be all right. So I'm just going to fold those in. And this paper, unlike the paper pads, doesn't crack. Well, I haven't found it to crack anyway. Which is excellent. Because the paper pads, oh boy. They could crack without even doing anything to them. And the other thing that I found with the paper pads was that um, trying to get them out the block, they'd be gummed at the top and sometimes you'd take them out and it, it would tear along the top. So there we have it. We've got our... Which way up does this go that way? We've got our little gussets in there so I'm just going to ink that now and I'm using archival ink just throughout really because um, basically at some stage I might want to put collage medium over things or stick things on or whatever um, and if I use ordinary distress then I'll end up in a state of distress <laughs> um, because it'll just sink into the collage medium I'm not saying anything's ever going to happen to this, but just to keep everything the same, I'm just using the same ink. And I have got a bigger pad on its way because I am aware that this is a teeny tiny pad. It's what You could buy it in sets, I think, of four. You probably still can. But in this country, at least, you can't buy the archival vintage photo, the big archival pads, you can't buy them singularly. I don't know. I feel like it's a bit of a swizz really. But you can only buy them in sets of four. And they come with um, ground espresso, hickory smoke and black suit. Which I do take are all very good colours. But I wish that they sold it separately. And I didn't have to fork out for four archival ink pads. Talking of forking out for things, you guys are just so generous. Thank you, everybody who has donated to the channel through the Kofi site or, you know, directly into my PayPal. I can't tell you how much I appreciate it. I just know that I couldn't do this without you. So there we are. There's our so a huge thank you. Thank you very, very, very much. So that's going to go onto there. We're going to add some other bits around the uh, edges tucked in. Like, so that's going to go there. Yes, that's lovely. That's just the perfect fit. Now I'll tuck some little bits in around the edge, put the flower on, stick it on. OK, so I've colour sorted all of my pieces of ephemera. <laughs> I know, staggering, isn't it? I've put all the collage um, strips in and any bits of, of ephemera that I've had lying around. Um, well, I had them all together actually in one box, but you could never find anything. So I've got all my pinks and I didn't have enough drawers to give them one each. So I've got all my pinks and reds, I think, in this one. Um, just various bits of, of stuff anything that came under the ephemera kind of I don't think that's wide enough for our I'll lay that out anyway it might do for the top of the notebook um, so I'm just going to get all the pinks out from there I think we go into red maybe so let's just have a look see what we've got see what I want to put where really um, I want something at the bottom here. So let's see. I don't really want a flower because it's not going to show up against these flowers. Um, but something on there would do, I think. That's very nice, but it's also a little on the large side. Yeah, it's just be sensible, my dear. Be sensible. Too big. 
um, too big. I'll just lay all the collage strips out as I come up against them. I like that, that might do. Um, got a red label in there, that's no good. That's a Kathy Holden sticker. What does it say? Good for one seventh of 50 cents towards fair. Good for one seventh of 50 cents. Blimey, they're not giving much away, are they? Um, but that would go there quite nicely, I think. Uh, that's another Kathy Holden. Oh, pink flowers. Ooh, nice. I think these are out of his last set, actually. The most recent, should I say. Let's hope it's not his last. No, I still like the one that we've selected. Oh, I like that ticket. Oh, there's two tickets. I like that one. Lay that one out then. Butterflies, don't need them. Big picture. That might be slightly longer, I'm not sure. Um, yeah, just anything that I came across. I mean, these have just been cut out from doing a circular frame, but they're nice. They're nice, so I've kept them. I think we've probably got the best of what there is in here. quite nice. Got some little teeny tiny pieces. Good for Judy. These are collage tiles. No, I don't think so. Oh, quite like that. Leave that out. That's a possibility. Yeah, I think we're duplicating things now. Yeah, okay. And there's loads more, but I think I'll just take the collage strips out and see where we're up to. Right, so they can go back in there. Lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Right, so we've, we've got it surrounded by pink. <coughs> but that's fine. That's what I want. I wanted pink. Um, okay, so I like that. And I like the thought of it being up there. It's a sticker, so it'll go on there. Okay. Um, this collage tile I do really like as well. So I could put that there. I like the top part better than the bottom part, so I'd put that on. I could leave the whole thing, actually, um, and just stick it onto the page. That I've gone off completely, and so we've got this admit one, one shilling ticket. And that I could have hanging off the side as well. Or could I? I've got my little gusset there so possibly not that would need to go in all the way like that it's so maybe just all a bit pink i need something that's not pink i think how about this half a teaspoonful she looks sweet it's like half a teaspoonful of sugar ah. let's just cut that out See if that helps us in any way. And get that across there. It's hard holding all this when it's not glued down. Yeah, I, th I, th I do think that helps actually. Um, what else have we got? Got some duplicates, of course as I always do. I've got, ah, 
about blackberry jam. Let's put that in. I like that. Prefer raspberry jam, but you know, blackberry would do. I'd settle for that. So I could put that up there, maybe. Let's get inking and see what it looks like. So this is a sticker. I'm pretty sure it's a sticker. Is it a sticker? No. <laughs> no, it's not a sticker. So I'm going to have to cut that out. Oh yeah, these might well be Artie Mays ones actually thinking about it. I printed off several pages of them. So no, they're definitely not stickers. Yeah, as I say, I just put all the ephemera that I had, sorted it into colours, and just put it into little um, boxes in a sort of stacking unit thing. I have never been so organised as far as ephemera goes ever in my life. So let's ink around this then, see what we got. So yeah, I think that would, I think that would go there quite nicely. I like it. Okay, let's stick it down. You can choose any colour you like for yours. I don't know why I chose pink. I just thought it kind of went with all the green that I had in my colour, you know, the collage that was... I've covered the file folder with. Right, so I'm going to put that there. I'm going to put it straight up that edge. Up there. Lovely. That's that. One down. Excellent. So, let's make sure that's square. I'm just going to ink around here. I'm going to stick on my blackberry jam. And it's not going under anything, it's just going right along the top. Flush with the top. There we go. Let's just make sure we've got this square before we start putting things on. Whoops, <gasps> that's upside down, that's not helpful. So I want that to about there, then it's just going to disappear. Lovely, that's great. Marvellous, marvellous. So, what am I going to do here? I think... I could just put that there, which kind of balance with the top a little bit. I like that. Or, or, there's always an alternative. Or I could put that there. I quite like the idea of that there coming over the bottom. Yeah, I do actually. So let's do that. Because there's no gusset in the bottom, you might remember. We didn't fold a gusset into the bottom. Um, so we I don't think we need one. I, I didn't with the other one. So that would be okay. So this can get stuck onto the page. So I'm just going to stick the top half of it down. Like that. And then we can stick the other bit down. So about there, I think. Like that. I think that's all right there. Excellent. And that could probably 
Put that gold there. I reckon so. I like that actually, yeah. So let's just give it a quick, quick ink. So yeah, I've been spending some time thinking about what form the pages are going to take. And I'm definitely going to build them on those dividers that I bought. But I also want it, I don't want it to be just kind of an art journal, you know, in as much as it has no other function than just to look at it. Uh, nothing wrong with that, but I want this one to um, let me just get that <laughs> that's not straight, is it? Is that straight? Is that straight? I think that's straight. Um, yeah, I want this to have a function, you know, that you can't actually journal in it if you want to. So I don't think that's straight. I think that's okay now, right. So yeah, I'm going to have to come up with some scheme of building in pockets or tucks or something to enable journaling to go on. Um, and I'm not sure yet what that is. That's a bit, it's a bit dark and it's a bit samey with all the other bits we've got, so that can go back in the pot. Um, I don't, I don't know. I'm not sure. The thing is with the flowers, they're just not going to show up. Even ink, they're not going to show up. But I've got this bit there. And, and that bit might show up. These collage strips are flipping helpful. And you can make your own, you know, out of remnants that you've got. Oh, I've just seen something else that's even prettier. That bit there. That's really pretty, I'm having it. Let's just ink around that. Yeah, you can easily make yourself make them yourself. Keep all your remnants and little bits that are you think are too little to be useful. Just stick them down onto a piece of book page or something like that and then you can just cut them willy-nilly as you wish. Yeah, I like that there. That's great. Let's do that. Um, so yeah, make your own collage strips. I might do it one of these days. I might do a video of it one of these days when I get some remnants built up again. So I want that to go kind of there, remove that, stick that down, lovely. So now what we need to do is stick this down fairly centrally, which is about there. Right, so I'm going to stick it on with collar because that gives me a little bit of fudge factor. So this is actually quite a thick... Um, piece now to be honest but it'll be fine just plenty of glue plenty glue there we go so that should enable me to put it on and just move it a little bit if I need to. So that's go oh no, that's not going there, that's going there. And that's going up there. Is that square? Is it equal? A little bit more that way. Yeah, that's equal with that. That's fine. Happy with that. Excellent. Oh, look at that. I've smeared all that. Gonna have to see if I can get that off with um, with an alcohol wipe. That's all I can think of to bring that off. It's really smeared. Looks nasty. So I'll just pause there and I'll go and see if I've got an alcohol wipe. Get rid of that. Right. Well, that worked. Charm. As you can see, it's gone. And the main reason that worked is because the 
frames are those shiny layer stuff that Timmy does. If you did it on ordinary paper, too bad you're stuck with it. But because it's on that layer, you can wipe it off. And I use these OptiPro um, wipes. They're just tiny little wipes. You get to clean injection sites before you inject yourself. <coughs> but if you don't, I mean, I have them anyway, so that's fine. But these are really good alternatives. I mean, during the COVID stages, we used this like it was going out of fashion. Um, so this is quite cheap, actually. Uh, hand gel, antibacterial, and it's 68%. Well, these ones here are 70, so there's not, you know, much difference. Uh, and this one here is... Um, I think it says somewhere 80%. I'm not going to read it all, but I'm pretty sure it says 80% or, or more, maybe even. So, yeah, something like that. It's always have, handy to have in your arsenal because um, it does get, you know, ink off your media mat if it's dried, all that sort of stuff. So, anyway, that's just an aside. So, I'm not... I don't really want to stamp on there again. It's all dried off now. So I'm actually going to use one of my um, remnant rubs from the Field Notes selection. I'm going to put Collector on it because I just like that. I need to order some more of these. I'm getting through them. But that's all right. I had intended to use up stuff because... Honestly, there's just too much stuff in this house. Stuff. Stuff is what it is. So I'm just going to put that along there. And then I won't have to worry about, about it smearing or anything like that. I thought I'd dried it, you know, with the dryer. It just goes to show, doesn't it, how long it stays wet. But I'm happy to use a remnant rub. And that will get me over that problem. Now I've got this stuck on there. There we are. So that's nice. Just says collector. And I do like that. That's fine. So next thing then is to stick it into the, the file. So it's going to go like, like that. Probably about three quarters of an inch up from the bottom. I think that looks nice. We've still got our flower to put on, haven't we? I'll put the flower on now before I stick that down. Might be easier. So let's just run once again through our possibilities. We've got this one. Looks gorgeous. Um, this one, which is the same, but going the other way. That looks lovely as well. I, I really like that one. Um, I've got this one, which is more of a sort of corner piece. Yeah, I love that one. Love it. And these, these ones. Now we've built the whole pocket up. I really like that, actually. But, oh, my goodness me. Right, so my choices are that one. Which I really do like. It's just I want it down off the corner there. It covers up the edge of a dress there, which is great. Happy with that. That's really nice there. Just bring it down a bit to cover the corner of that. That's lovely. Oh, this one. And that leaves that corner exposed. It's not a bad thing. But I'm going to go with this one. Surprise, surprise, it's the one I thought I was going to go with. Huh? So I'm just going to go around the edge. Quite scantily, I don't want too heavy a coverage on the edge. There's a little bit in there where, there's, where it's quite white. Right, so we've got that stuck down. I'm 
going to use Collol again. So yeah, this in prospect is a really, really interesting project. And I can't wait to devote myself to it 100%. But at the moment, I've still got the Bob um, Little Golden Book, which I'm also getting up to a really exciting stage. We're almost so close to the decorating stage, which I just love. So, yeah, that look all right there. I think so. I think so. Let's give it a good squish down then. Get my towel out and squish it. This is another one of my pink towels. <laughs> they were white and then I washed them and they weren't white anymore. They were pink. So that's a really pretty little pocket there, I think. So we want to put that on there. We want it about three quarters of an inch up from the bottom. So I'm going to get my ruler and I'm going to make a line. That's three quarters of an inch there. Needed a little bit more than that. That's an inch. I've got to leave room for the top. I've cut out my pieces for my notepad. I'll give you the measurements in a minute, but I want them. Yeah, that's fine. So I'm going to make a line an inch up from the bottom. Bottom. I said that quite rude, didn't I? Bottom. Um, there, make sure you're square. I'm just going to draw a line along there. So that's where that the bottom's going to go. Um, and then I need to just have a look at this and see where halfway is. Just fold in these little pieces. Um, where does it look equal? About there, I think. Yeah, about there. So I'm just going to draw up here because you're less likely to see that than you would one on this side. And it's doubtful you'd see either of those. Right, so now I'm going to stick it down. I want to go right across the bottom and just the two... Oh, I'm just going to trim off those top bits. Just like that. Um, yeah, not the... Not the spine that we put in, just the lugs. I'm going to do it with my collar hole. Gives you, as I say, just that second more wiggle room, which sometimes you need when you're putting a pocket on. So that's that side. And this side, then on the bottom. I'm just going to put some on that because it's going to get stuck down. So, let's get this in place. That's where it goes there. And that's where it goes there. Okay. So just... Push that into place. Make sure that your gusset isn't sticking out. That it's just the lug bit that you're sticking down. It's a bit awkward actually, but um, very doable really. Just take your time. There we go. So we've built ourselves a little bit of depth, you know, in the pocket to put our notebook. There we are, stick that on. That's lovely. Excellent, marvellous. So I'm just going to get my ruler out because it's the thinnest, flattest thing I've got. And I'm just going to go down there just to make sure that that is actually stuck down nicely. 
so as much pressure as you can get on it just up that edge so it's make sure it's stuck and I'm using the slanty side so that I can get right into there just pressing it down right up to the top love me so right Phew. there's our pocket isn't it pretty it's so pretty so now we need to make our uh, notebook so I've cut uh, eight pages of this you can use whatever you want to put in your notebook mine measure measure seven by four and a quarter so let's just check that they will fit in yeah perfectly like it was made to measure actually um so i need a, a, a piece of card to go up the back to lend support if you want to write and um what have i got i need some sort of solid pink probably that's what i've got so okay let's use that so these measure four didn't i say four and a quarter so I don't know if I've got any room to add a bit to the side here. Yeah, I have just a little bit. So I'm going to make it four and a half, I think. Four and a half fit in there? Yeah. I'm going to make it four and a half down here. So let's get the big slicey thing out. Four and a half. I love this trimmer. I've happened to mention that before. It's fabulous. Right, so I need... Oh, look at that for an inside. That's gorgeous. So I need to get these really, really squared up. And they're going to go in there like that. And then I can fold that over. I probably don't need that much, but I won't cut any off yet. Anyway, let's ink this up. I'll pause you there because you know how to ink a piece of paper. Okay, well, if I'm brutally honest with you, I stopped, had my lunch, and now I'm back again. It was very nice. Mr. F is an excellent cook, may I say. So, anyway, <laughs> back to this. We're nearly there, guys. Hold on. So that goes there like that. Actually, I want it that way because I want to put my... So it's just in a little margin all the way around. And I want to just make a mark with my pencil at the top there. And what I'm going to do is... It's a foul day here. It's raining cats and dogs it's horrible even catkins giving up on it so where my mark was i'm going to score down like that and then i'm going to go an eighth inside that so not to the big side to the little side an eighth inside that and score down so i'll just give us a little spine on the top to um, accommodate the papers we're putting in so that's that so oh i have put them on the wrong side now damn and blessed it so i'm going to fold them this way and then i'm going to fold them back the other way because i want the solid pink on there on the outside so we've got a nice little spine there on the top to accommodate the papers that we're going to put into it right let's just ink those that we've just made so 
So yeah, it's miserable. Mr. F's even talking about putting the fire on. That's how miserable it is. But I cannot bring myself to put the fire on in the middle of June. Well, end of June, whenever we are. It's just... Oh. We're never going to save any coal up for the winter at this rate. Not that we have to, but, you know, I do like to get ahead in the, in the summer. So I've looked out some of these eyelets. And I've got these ones that are a nice pink. That would go with that. I've got a darker pink and a darker again. That's quite nice. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to go for them. I surprise myself and go for the darker ones. Um, so let's get these all squared up. And they're being resistant because they're coffee stained and I haven't ironed them. So they don't want to lie nicely on top of each other. Let's try our hardest to get them. Yeah, like that. So that goes in there up to the top with a little margin on each side. We've only allowed a little margin. Fold that in and now they've all gone conky on me. See if I can get them straight, it'd be great. It would be good if I could. Yeah, I think that's it about there. Lovely. Right. So I'm going to put a clip in there now because now I've got them square. I don't want them to jump out. Right. Now, what I want to do is put two eyelets in here and just pass a piece of um, string, cord, ribbon, whatever you fancy through there. So let's find the middle. Two and a cord, yeah, that's it. Uh, and then maybe an inch in from each end. So that's there. And that's there. And that might be a bit too far down. No, I think it might be all right. What did I do with the other one? That's the one we're doing, you silly ninny. This one, yeah, it's about there. That's fine. So, let's see. Big hole. <laughs> That's it. I'm just going to push that down as far as it'll go, so I know they're both going to be equal. It's three, th quite a few layers this so you have to be a bit masterful with it there we go lovely so now we'll set the eyelets wait I don't know where the other one went did I only lay one out yeah I, I do like those they're nice so let's get them set I can't see the other one. Maybe I only laid one out. That was a silly thing to do. But I have more. I have more, so we're okay. There we go. Clamp that in. These are um, We Are Memory Keepers brand these eyelets and I'm, I must say if I had all the money in the world I would just use We Are Memory Keepers eyelets that are superior to my way of thinking. Now I just want to put a stamp on the bottom here I'm not inking around every page that would drive me doolally but I would like a stamp on here and I need to think about something that I'm going to put up there. I found these when I was looking through the ephemera earlier I think they're quite nice. I think that would look okay there. 
um, but I'm going to put my twine in. I'm just going to stamp this. I'm talking about everything I'm going to do and getting nothing done. So let's just uh, find a stamp we want to put on there. I think we could have a date. How about this? 15th of November, 1925. <laughs> my birthday. <laughs> I feel like it some days. I feel like I was born in 1925 some days. <laughs> I'll not lie. Um, and I'm just going to do it in the archival ink in the vintage photo because I don't want it really, really dark. There we go. I'm just putting it down this bottom corner here. There we are. It's it's light. I knew it would be. That's you know part of the reason of doing it with the archival. But it's there and it looked rather nice, I think. I just for an awful moment I didn't remember pressing play. Again, I thought I was talking to myself there. Which would have been sad. Not the first time, but it would have been sad. Okay, so let's thread this up with this gorgeous twine that Janya bought me and sent me all the way from Florida. I was talking to her last night and she was in San Diego. My goodness. Uh, how nice to travel like that, you know. I know she has to work. <laughs> I do know it's not just a jolly holly, but even so, it's nice, isn't it? So this, because I want it quite tight, I'm going to do this. You go like that and you go like that again. And that keeps it flat down. If you just do it once, it's a bit loose. But if you do it twice like that, it keeps it flat onto the thing, which helps when you come to make your bow. Oh yeah, here we go. Can't tie a bow on camera. That's a bit... Oh, it's not too bad, actually. It's not too bad. It's not great. Got a bit of excess stuff going on here. I think that's okay. I think it's all right. Let's just trim that off a little bit. Oh, these scissors. When am I going to learn those scissors aren't sharp? Um, and then I just want something on here. So I might have a look back through the, the pink ephemera box. See what we've got. Uh, now this time I could get away with nice flowers on it. They are nice. They are. Oh yeah, I was going to decide how long I wanted it, wasn't I? Forgetting myself. Right, let's... It's not my clothes on the floor. Let's pop this into here. Into its pocket. Like so. And that will go in as well. Down to there, that's fine. Yeah, that, that's lovely. That looks great. Um... So I can actually get rid of some of this excess at the bottom, which is fine. Um, and what I'm going to do is just hold this up where I want it. Let's just get this straight on my media mat and put it at that line there. That line there. Need to get that out of the way. That line there. And that line there, is that going to be enough? Maybe not. Just get rid of about half an inch of it, something like that. I'm just going to tear it up against my ruler. So yeah, that's great. Needs uh, inking, but that's all right. Yeah, so let's just ink that now and then we'll just stick something on there. We could put... Um, a rub on on it if we desired. 
This is why I wanted to tear it off with the ruler rather than try and fit it into my trimmer because that would have just been too awkward for words. There we are, that's fine. Looks nice actually being torn off. So, what do I have? What did I have in my hand before that I just bundled back in here? Don't know. I'm going to have to retie that because it's not it's not great. I've got some loose strands here that aren't helping my cause. And I might actually need something thinner. I don't know. Um, nothing else to lose. I don't want that particularly, but I'll put it back in the box. So I've got this flowery one here. Which I quite like. But let's get let's get the rub ons out. Because they're just glorious. Where are they? Here. I'm going to get the words out as I don't often get a chance to use these. Believe in daydreams. That's nice. That's a believe in daydreams. going to put that along there. Oh, it's come off the backing. Let's be careful once it comes off the backing because it can stick to almost anything. I think that's okay. It's down now anyway so it's going to have to be I've wrecked my tweezers by picking up things to emboss them. They were really good Sizzix tweezers. But you know. Ah, there we go. Believe in daydreams. I think that's nice. I like it. I'm going to swap out this thick twine. Not because I don't like it, because I do. And I'm going to put in, I think, some pink and white. Yeah. Some pink and white. It's just a bit, a little bit thinner. See, my scissors cut that. <laughs> and I'm just going to get my inky board up and I'm just going to run my dauber over this just to take that white away. Because it is a bit white for my liking. that done as easy as that. Right, let's try again then. You could put a little charm or something on this if you wanted to. I'm not going to at this stage but you could yeah I think that's a little bit better thing about this is it's a twisted thing and it always tries to twist back on you but never mind that's fine let's cut the ends off And just rub some glue over them like we always do. Just to stop them fraying so badly. You could use glue stick, use whatever you like. Just something to stop them coming apart. There we are. Right. So let's put our book into our pocket and see what we've got.
well I'd say that's just about perfect the only thing I would say is there's nothing up here it's kind of striking me that it's a bit bald up there so let's um, let's get the words out again the rub -ons. Um I might go for a different font just to jazz things up a bit um what have I got happy together hello friend the adventure begins well it's right at the back of the book so um tell your story um Yeah, maybe tell your story. That's that's the one that I'm looking at that I like the best. And if we do something simpler, I've got, you know, the adventure awaits or whatever it is to go at the at the front. I don't actually know why I'm starting at the back. <laughs> I don't I don't know. Okay, where did that go? Is this it? No. Okay, let's just pause while I search for that. It's gone somewhere, but I don't know where. Found it! The back had come off, so it was completely transparent. And of course, I couldn't see it. But never mind. So I'm just going to put that there. Just like that. And this, I think, is the final act in the story of the back pocket. There we are. Tell your story. So there we have it. There's our uh, big pocket page for the back. I, I must be honest, I really do like it. I think it's a good, a good start. You like it? Yeah, I do. So that's a suitable start. And now it's a suitable place to end for today's video. Um, give it a go. It's really good fun, this. I'm loving it. So I'll see you very, very soon when we'll, I don't know, who knows what we'll be up to. Um, so take care guys. Bye.